Okay. Um, this week, uh, this class, uh, we continue with the uh, chapter chapter five, which is multi-stage amplifier. So previous class we have uh, discussed on the RC coupled amplifier. So the multi-stage is uh, actually this is a amplifier that consists of uh, many stages of amplifier. So it may it may be uh, formed by the combination of uh, one BJT uh, as first stage and then next uh, connected to the second stage FET or maybe both BJTs uh, or both FETs. Okay, so the way how uh, the two stages are connected, um, so we have many ways. Uh, one of uh, two of the ways uh, is uh, the RC couple. And the next one is direct couple. So RC couple is uh, the capacitive coupling. Direct couple is uh, simply using the wiring, electrical uh, connection to connect the output of the first stage to the input of the next stage. Okay. So this is the example of a direct couple multi-stage amplifier. Okay. So... Um, so the first stage is a BJT amplifier circuit. So this is the stage one. Stage one is a BJT amplifier circuit. And this is a common emitter. This is a common emitter without bypass. Okay. And then this, the output of the first stage, this is the output of the first stage, will become the input of the second stage. So this is the second stage, the stage number two. So stage two is also a BJT amplifier and also a common emitter. So this is a common emitter without the bypass. Okay, take note the difference between the RC couple and direct couple is the connection between the first stage and the second stage. It is the direct coupling. Okay, uh, in the direct couple multi-stage amplifier, so uh, we need to consider uh, both stages when you do the RC couple because in the DC operation, both there will be a connection between the first stage and the second stage through this uh, this wire to, to because of this wire but in case of the RC couple the first stage and the second stage is uh, connected by the capacitor so uh, for the DC for the DC operation the capacitor can be uh, replaced by the open circuit so the first stage and the second stage can be uh, examine or can be analyzed separately because both the both uh, the stage one and stage two are isolated due to the capacitance capacitor but for direct couple so in this case uh, for dc analysis the c1 here you can remove this one and you can remove the c2 open circuit as well as the rl so um, Okay, remove the C2 and RL. So the remain, what remain is in the circuit is uh, the middle uh, component. So if I draw, we draw this, the circuit back. So the circuit that we use for the analysis. This is uh, R1. This is R2. Okay, this is NPN. This is RE1, this is RC1, and this is connected to the second stage RE2. Okay, there's no, is this is RC1, sorry, RC2.
Okay. And this is your VCC. So this is the circuit that you uh, that will be used for the DC analysis. So in the circuit, um, you need to consider these two transistor. Okay, not the difference between uh, the difference when you compare with the RC couple amplifier. So when RC couple amplifier, you can uh, analyze the first stage and the second stage separately. Okay, but in terms of the AC equivalent or AC analysis, uh, there's no not much difference between direct couple and the uh, RC couple. So if I draw this uh, AC equivalent circuit at the mid band, so the circuit will looks like this. So start we start with the source. This is VS, and then VS is connected to the RS. So the capacitor here, due because of this AC analysis, this is short circuit. This is also a short circuit. So simplify, I can uh, combine the R1 and R2. This is the RS. Okay, between base and emitter, we have R pi. This is R pi one. This is V pi one. So we put uh, one here, R pi one and V pi one, because since we have two BJT to differentiate between the stage one and stage two. Okay, at the emitter we have the R E one. We have the R E one, and then this is a current source between emitter and collector. This is G M one. V pi 1. Okay, then we have the RC1. Okay, so next it is base to emitter. We also have this one is uh, R pi 2. The voltage is V pi 2. At emitter of the transistor 2, we have RE2. Then I have this is GM2 V pi 2. RC2. And lastly, we have uh, RL. The voltage across the RL is V out. So this is the uh, mid-band equivalent circuit for the direct coupled amplifier. Okay. So based uh, from this uh, AC equivalent circuit, uh, you can analyze the input impedance and output impedance as well as the voltage gate for the AC equivalent circuit. Okay. For the input impedance, uh, we have uh, we can uh, calculate uh, determine. The input impedance of the, the whole multi stage, the whole circuit, the multi stage uh, circuit, or it can be the input impedance of every stage. Okay, for example, we have the ZI1 here, this is input impedance of the first stage, ZI2 is input impedance of the second stage. So, input impedance of the first stage will be equal to the, the input impedance of the whole multi stage, the, the overall circuit. Okay, same goes with the output impedance. We have the output impedance for the first stage, output impedance for the second stage, and the output impedance of the second stage is equal to the, the, the output impedance of the, the whole circuit. Okay, for the ZI, ZI is, uh, we see from this side, we see the RBV1. So RBV1 uh, is actually referring to the R1 parallel with R2. Okay, and then this one is parallel with this R pi one and R E. The resistor network consists of R pi one, R E one, and G M one, V pi one. So this this resistor or this impedance we can uh, it is denoted as a Z B because this is the impedance seen from the this the base terminal. The base terminal of the uh, hybrid pi model. So this is Zb. So the Zb is equal to 
r pi 1 plus beta plus 1, beta 1 plus 1 times r e 1. So this is uh, r b b 1 actually in parallel with z b. Let me put I this z b 1. Eh? This is z b 1. Okay. For the output impedance, for the output impedance uh, of the multi-stage amplifier, this is simple. So this is RC2 in parallel with the this impedance. This is impedance is infinity because this is a uh, ZC. The impedance seen from the collector of the hybrid pi model is uh, it's not collector. Uh, collector yes, collector from the hybrid model is infinity. So this is equal to RC2. Okay. So we can also uh, investigate what is impedance uh, uh, of the output impedance from for the uh, stage one as well as the input impedance for the stage two. So if you see the uh, for this case the Z up one, so Z up one is equal to RC RC one. For ZI2, ZI2 you see from we have the R pi 2 and R E2. So this is actually equal to the impedance seen from the base number 2. So this is ZB2. So ZB2 is equal to R pi 2 plus beta 2 plus 1 R E2. Okay. Now we uh, investigate the uh, derive the voltage gain. So the voltage gain, uh, okay, because we have uh, uh, several stage, we have the two stage, two stages. So voltage gain can also uh, have different uh, definition. So uh, we have the definition of voltage gain for every stage or the voltage gain of the whole multi-stage circuit. So so this is given here the input this is vi the input at the, the voltage at the input is vi and then if we uh, denote the output of the first stage is uh, v out one okay so we can uh, define let's say this is av1 av1 is voltage gain uh, at the first stage is equal to v out one over v in okay so v is v out one so what is VR1? VR1 is equal to uh, the current here. This is minus GM1 V pi 1. Minus GM1 V pi 1 times this resistor here. This is RC1 parallel with Z I2. Okay, parallel with Z I2. What is Z I2? Z I2 is uh, Z B2. And this is equal to uh, R pi 2 plus beta 2 plus 2 so this is z i2 equal to r pi r pi 2 plus beta plus beta 2 plus 1 r e2 this is z i2 so this is equal to the z i2 okay the z i2 okay for the common base common emitter without bypass um, i will recommend you to use uh, ib instead of using the v pi so because it will uh, is you will offer more uh, uh, easier. This is my my I prefer to use the IB because it offer more easier solution. So this minus GMV pi is actually equal to minus IC. So minus IC equal to this is minus beta one IB one. So this is RC one parallel with Z I two. Okay. So then you can define what is the V I here. The V I here. Okay, we can use the I B one here. V I here. This is uh, the 
i b1 times r pi 1 plus the current at the r e1 is i e emitter current the emitter current is equal to beta 1 plus 1 so beta 1 plus 1 i b1 r e 1 okay from these two equation v r1 and v i the a v is equal to minus beta 1 i b1 r c1 parallel with uh, z i2 over this is i b1 r pi 1 plus okay let's cancel out so you get the final equation for the AV1. So this, sorry, this is AV1. Okay, so this is the AV1. Okay. So next we can uh, calculate what is the uh, voltage gain at the second stage. So remember the voltage uh, output voltage for the first stage this is V out one, and the voltage uh, at the load is V out. So A V two is voltage for the second stage equal to V out okay V out one. Okay, what is V out? So V out is the this is the same common emitter without bypass. So we can we will apply the same uh, analysis with the previous AV1. So V out is equal to so this is the IC2. This is the collector current of the uh, transistor number two. So this is uh, minus IC2. Okay, IC2 times RC2 parallel with RL. So IC2 is equal to minus beta 2 IB2 RC2 parallel with RL. Okay. So and then what is VI? So not VI, this is what is V out 1. So we for the calculation of AV1, V out 1 we have uh, expressed the V out 1 as a function of IB1. So now we want to uh, express the V out one as a function of ID two. Okay, so V out one is equal to so we'll use this uh, R pi two and R e two. So this is uh, I b two R pi two plus the I e is beta two plus one I b two R e two. From these two equation. The AV2 equal to uh, minus beta 2 IB2 RC2 parallel with RL over IB2 R pi 2 plus beta 2 plus 1 RE2. Okay, so this is the equation for AV2. So once you have, uh, we can you can calculate the AV1 and AV2. The total uh, gain, which is the AV equal to V out over VI. So this one will be equal to AV1 times AV2.